Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Randomizer. In the last episode, we ended up managing to complete two more fantastic levels. And now, well, actually, no, we only completed one level. I don't know why I'm even lying to you guys. And now in this part, I actually figured out something. I know where the treasure chest box goes to. It actually goes to that very silent old man who, for some reason, ends up having the, um, is a secret to everybody thing. In the original game, he gives you a bottle, and in this one, he probably will give me something that can either make me happy or screw me over. So, let's go with the latter and say that he won't screw me over. I'm hoping he does it, because if I can't get the fire rod, we're kind of not going to be able to complete any of the other dungeons now that I think about it. And it's going to be really sad. But, eh, whatever. You know, that's something I can understand why people actually like the Link to the Past because it's very straightforward. There's barely really any story in this game. I mean, some people might think that it not having any story is a bit of a, a weak point, but then again, the original Legend of Zelda didn't have a story either, and people ate that crap up like, like nothing else. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people goes back to the original Legend of Zelda game. I mean, I know I don't because reasons. I mean, I am overdue, though. I do have to end up playing that game sooner or later. You guys are probably saying, why? Eh, I don't know. It has, it has to be done. That game needs to be played and shown of how godly difficult it is. Huh. What's in this room? I never noticed this. I mean, not this room, this house. Really? I had to use the Megaton, the magic hammer just to... Wow, that's so dumb. What's the point of that? Well, no, no, seriously, what is the point of that? What's in this room? Ah, there's a china chest here. And Mario. Mario's face is here. More bombs. Well, that did not help me at all. That just made me even sadder. <sighs> God. You know, I really, really wish that there was nothing than just bombs everywhere in this entire game. Like, seriously. I mean, I understand why you're going to need them. Oh, another thing is, I look back on my old video, and I noticed that I did miss, uh, miss a person where I was pissed off because I couldn't find anything. So, apparently, there's something over there. So... Hold on, getting a cold. All right, so yeah, there's a person that we can go ahead and go see, and we're gonna actually go see him right now. So, uh, I actually forgot where he was, to be honest. Where did I find him? Uh, let me see, did I find him? Ah, crap, I actually don't remember where he is. And whatever, you know what, let's get, let's get one thing done f at a time first before we start flolicking around all over the place. Gotta get one thing out of, we gotta get, well, we can't go in this room because there's actually nothing in here. Not yet, anyways. You have to actually beat all the dungeons first, which is really weird. You have to beat all the, um, all the dungeons before you can get the bigger bomb which i don't understand how he ends up now selling the bigger bombs after you have completed all the dungeons and i'm going like the wrong way my god i'm just going all over the place my god like th this is terrible <laughs> this is really really terrible okay wait let us check the map is there anybody over there uh I think so. Yeah, there is somebody over there. Let's uh, let's check. Let us check if there is, because I know that the treasure chest is actually located back at K um, Kakariko Village. For some reason, I don't know why it's over there, but uh, I guess just a random treasure just wanted to hang out over there for some unexplained reason. Then again, there's a lot of unexplained reasons for why a lot of items don't really go anywhere. It's very odd. Okay, no, there it, it wasn't over here. Damn it! Uh, I was saying, uh, you know what? Uh, frack this. I'm gonna cut until I actually find that cave again. So, 
yeah, you guys already know the deal. Okay, so I decided to say screw it because I actually don't really remember where the hell that cave even is. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this treasure back to that old man so we could go ahead and make him unlock this. Hopefully there's the fire rod in there so or the bombos, whichever one comes first. Because if we get the bombos, good. If we get the fire rod, good. If we get nothing and just... 100 rubies or 300 rubies I'm going to be awfully sad and I'm just gonna uh, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do it's just gonna be just one of those days you know you're not gonna really have much luck in this game I also don't understand like how we couldn't find this before but when we eh, forget it. I don't really want to go into detail with that because it doesn't really make any sense to me Nothing ever makes any sense. Go away. Anyways, let's go ahead and warp back. This man here. I shall unlock it for you. And you gave me... Yes, I finally found the cave. It was actually located in Misery Mire. Eh, who knew? Uh, I can't believe... Uh, man, fumbling around in the dark world sucks. And there's nothing even in here. Wow. Okay. Then that means that there is like one more location that I can really figure out where I'm supposed to go. I have to figure out how to get the cape. Also, I have to probably go back up to Death Mountain. Because something tells me that whenever I'm missing a Death Mountain, probably will have what I need. Because I don't know, I don't think I really need the cape, or I probably would need the cape, I don't really know. But, there's got to be some other stuff on this mountain, aside from disappointment and getting clocked in the head by rocks. Since I know that I've done like a lot of cutting, um, there won't, I won't be ending the part no time, um, not yet. I still don't understand, G damn man. I still don't understand why that that block is there if it doesn't do anything for you so that's a bit that's a bit wasteful but whatever anyways let's just head back to the dark world and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the top of this mountain which is essentially what you could really call death mountain because it kind of looks more deaf than anything else so yeah death mountain uh, you're just a random rat. You're not the one I'm looking for. You're not the rat I'm looking for. Alright, let me see. I think we went through that hole already, so we're not going to really go through there again because there's really no point. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to stab you. And I'm going to fall down this pit. Is there really a point in me coming over here? Now that I think about it. It probably isn't. Uh, but you know what? Who cares? Now we're getting into the point where the run starts to become a little bit more hectic. Which I kind of figure, to be honest. Because I was having a bit... Oh, I was having a way too easy of a time when it came to item getting. So, yeah. It's about time that the game starts to dick with me. And man, is it doing a damn good job in doing so. Like, Jesus. I never thought that I really will have a hard time actually trying to find one specific item. Because the thing is, you need, um, here's, here's the thing. You need one of the items to actually progress. Okay, we've been through this room already. We don't need to go through here again. We got the damn bottle from going through here. So, yeah. Uh, let me see. What do you need? Yeah, I figure you need Bombos. So, essentially, they both need the same thing. So, whatever that first one is, it's whatever Misery Mire becomes, Turtle Rock will always become the same thing. I guess that fits it, even though it doesn't really make any sense how the hell Bombos ends up getting rid of the goddamn thing. But you want to know something? I'm not going to go ahead and question this game because this game is art. I also don't have the capabilities of killing those. I'll be mean, deflecting those things properly. Can I just, like, go to Ganon's Tower? What's, like, stopping me from there? What's over here? Uh, 
Hopefully no sadness. Sadness? Sadness! Ah, lovely. No, seriously, what's over here? Uh, there has to be something besides that boy getting kicked in the head. And he's so happy, too, when he's getting kicked in the head. I, I don't understand that. This relationship is bananas. Out of my way. Alright, you know what? We're going to switch out of here. We're going to leave our little portal right up here. We're going to clock this. That way we can get our free ferry. And we're going to jump down. Alright. Cool. We actually jumped down to the right path. Because usually I always mess that up. Alright. Uh, I'm saying alright. Yeah, whatever. You guys already know. Two fairies. I don't feel accomplished. And there's nothing else here. What's the point of this room? This room is pointless. Let's drop down. Uh... No, I'm not really seeing what's the point of this room. This room is not really showing me anything. It's just so it's just showing me that you, you there's nothing you can do, just give up. But I kind of don't want to give up because if I give up, the game will win. All right, well that was pointless. All right, okay. You know what? I don't think there's nothing here because if my guess is right, if I end up dropping down that hole over on the corner, it's not going to lead me anywhere and it's just going to lead me to where the fairies are. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so that was pointless. But I could go ahead and just get myself another fairy. Booyah! Uh, okay. Alright. What can we do? What can we do now that we can't do prior? This is becoming... What the fuck? It's the same goddamn room. Seriously? Is there like any way I could just go back up without dealing with this? Or is that is that just really it? That that's it. This this place is ugh. Wow, Death Mountain is actually really getting on my nerves. Actually getting on my last nerves. Alright. Let's just warp back. Let's just go through that tunnel again. And let's just hope we can find something. <sighs> What's over here? Ah, oh, the um little alcove that just leads to the area that is really no point. Thanks, game. Said I. Ugh. Fucking hell. Okay. Where the hell is Bombos? Where in the hell is other China chesses? I've so far probably already scoured the entire friggin' area already. There has to be not. There's. There can't be anything else left. There really can't be anything else left. I mean, unless I'm missing the most obvious thing. I can't, because the thing is, well, actually, if I go to the forest, will I be able to just, no, because that wouldn't make any sense. If I go to the forest, I wouldn't really be able to complete it because of the fact that you kind of need the, um, you need the fire, you need the fire rod or the bomb, well, no, you need, you actually need the fire rod to actually get to the boss, Unless you only need it to get to the boss and you don't really need it to complete the level, then we could probably get the treasure chests there. But who's to say that the treasure chests will actually give us what we need is the real issue. That's my problem. I mean, I could care less about everything else, but if I can't get the treasures that I need, then there's really no point. This is bad. Like, this is really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to, if I jump down there, it's probably like nothing down there, so switch, and 
We're gonna jump down here instead. Ugh. We didn't find anything over here, did we? Besides nothing, besides a hole, besides some aliens and this thing and a hole. Yeah, we, we didn't find anything. We found the mirror in there, so that was nice. All right, you know what? I've been going on for way too long. This has been a very pointless episode because nothing productive was done. God damn it. All right, guys. In the next episode, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna try the forest area and hope to God we can find at least something that can make us beat this stupid randomizer nonsense. Anyways, I've been CCX. I'll be seeing you guys next time. See us.